Hey, welcome to Garage Clips for mat work. We just want to talk a little bit about the double leg pulley. One of the questions I continue to get is about how do I extend the double leg pulley? How do I get more hip extension? How do I mimic some of the exercises I've done on the reformer and I can't seem to mimic here? So I know we've talked about this in the past, but I want to kind of revisit and reemphasize some techniques that you can do within this workout so that you can extend that range of motion or you can tweak it to add that stability factor. So we have Nicole here. And first thing you're gonna do is when you teach this, remember you have to cue head to the top end of the glide board. That's really important in order for when they're pushing to get full range of motion. So I'm gonna have you kind of slip your legs in here as I continue to talk. One of the things you'll note that we have this black cable and we have the silver one on that helps to note that we've added that extension component on. It's really big. We gave her a really big one. There's small, there's medium and large. So we gave her the large one so that as she extends her legs out, you can see that she gets more hip extension. So straighten those legs for me and see how far down she can push. You're not limited in the amount of extension cables you can put on. You can still put on another one if you felt like that person needed to really get that length or they're really tall. So from here, we do some footwork in the air. So you just bend your knees in and then you're gonna extend the legs out. One of the things you wanna maybe think about as you cue this exercise is where am I telling them to extend? What am I cueing with respect to the movement of the glide board? And what am I looking for? So first you can have them move the glide board or, or cue, I want you to straighten your knees and keeping the board still. You can either provide them with the cue that if you press your legs further up to the sky, the glide board stays still, or you can let them try to figure that out for themselves where they're just really trying to figure out their pattern and their body of where they need to extend their legs. So let's look at feet and V for a second. As your knees come down towards you, let's extend a little bit halfway out. So the board will move a little bit. You're thinking about their heels staying squeezed together. As they come in, the knees are coming towards the shoulders, not completely dropping out, so you still have energy. And as you press out, you can either have the toes point or you can have them stay flexed, it's up to you. But keep those heels together as they move in and out. How do we change the emphasis of this exercise or any of the footwork exercises? Well, it's very easy to be mindless and just kind of go back and forth or you can say, I really want you, Nicole, to think like you're going through mud. So squeeze those heels and almost resist pulling back and resist pushing forward. Like you're really trying to push through that mud or cement. And that will help kind of trigger even more exercise, even more muscles into the movement pattern and help again, bring that concentration back. So you're gonna cue the movement of the glide board. You're gonna cue where they're pressing their legs. You're gonna watch now for the rib cage. You can always add an arm movements into this. You can also have their head up each time and add a you know, trunk, trunk lift or trunk flexion. You can add a rotation, so maybe they're having their legs maybe in parallel, and maybe you're now kind of moving their body and going into that trunk rotation here, or reaching, it's totally up to you. But just be creative. So now let's talk about the next component that I brought up a little bit earlier. What about if that someone wants even more range of motion? So I'm gonna have Nicole bring the knees into her chest and get herself out of the double leg pulleys. Just one or both? Uh, we'll just do both for now. And what's the next thing I'm gonna do? I know she's strong, I know she's agile. I'm going to take off, just for purposes of demonstration, I'm also gonna take off the extender and I'm gonna attach one end to the top end of the glide board and then I'll give her back one cable one harness, and then she'll bring the other leg in. And now she's gonna go back to that V position with her feet, and she's gonna do footwork here with only one leg having the resistance. <laughs> and boy, is that a challenge. So yes, you can do the unilateral work we've shown in the past and have the other leg. So if her right foot was on the glide board, she can just do, you know, scissors and circles and, you know, just really think about that one leg, but why not challenge the footwork exercises? The the pattern's there, now you're tweaking it a little bit. So let's bring your legs to a hip distance apart, feet flexed. Keeping that distance, she's gonna press out and then come back in. When you add this element of control, start to look about what's going on with the ribs, what's going on with the neck, are the shoulders coming up thinking, oh my gosh, what do I have to do next? You can do the feet in the V. And maybe when you're ready, you can then go into that bicycling of the legs. What does that look like? One leg comes in, one leg goes out, and then she switches. 
How does that change that element? How does scissors change it? So yes, you know about attaching the arm cable maybe to the glide board. Have you thought about still letting that other leg move in a symmetrical pattern, but having asymmetrical amount of resistance to each leg? So I hope that helps you kind of jazz up the double leg pulley section. Remember that concentration component. Remember tweaking either the GTS or the person. And remember most of all, have fun with it. Thanks.